Hello and welcome! You joined me in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. All blue, wherever you can see. Uh, and I would like to show you a little bit about my setup at the moment. We're really in the middle of the ocean. We're about one and a half thousand miles from the Bahamas and 1,000 miles more to the Azores. And we're sailing under beautiful conditions, actually. Some southwest winds with 15 knots, more or less. And with the Jenaker and the main in the second reef. A little bit to that later on. Uh, we're doing about seven to eight knots. So beautiful. And who is steering the wind vane? Um, AKA Tony. He does a great job here. And uh, I got many questions how it actually works. So let's focus on that first. You see the well normal wind vane setup that's just put on a, an additional beam, this aluminium pipe. And that supports the, the beam so it can support <laughs> the wind vane afterwards. And the lines, the black yellow lines that come from the center here, they go to some pulleys on the side and they end up here where I attach it. That's the second thing I have to change, like the normal steering with uh, this bar. I have to add an additional one. And yeah, that's doing the steering right now. And the white lines that come from there, they are more or less a remote control, so I could steer from here. But to be honest, usually it's just easier just to walk behind and put on the new course you want. And do it like that. Yeah, uh, it's a wind pilot, uh, Pacific Light, uh, yeah, German brand. That's that's all I can say to this, and it works perfectly. It's even in well, that's light winds anymore, but it even works in light winds. I, I, I can tell. So here my setup is we have a half wind and. I usually like to not put all mainsail up because it's just too much power at one point. So I put the second reef in and lift all the sail up. So I have a nice view from underneath and I'm sitting here and also I can put on a tarp on this blue line, blue no, green, blackish line over this pipe I added here and I can make it all closed but no need today. There's a nice little breeze that prevents it. These photos are from a dead calm, but when you put the mainsail high enough, you can actually use it while sailing. So, and then next to show is the Chenacker itself. So, what's on top there is a, I don't know how to call this thing, but to bring it in. The Chenacker, even if you're alone, you can just pull the red line and shoop, it all goes into a big sock. Oh, now it's falling, bad time. Let's see what Tony does. Okay, it's going away from the wind again. Beautiful. And um, the Spinnaker or Genacker pole setup is here. Uh, you see this stuff. This is uh, some repairs I had to do this morning because it broke. But not because of sailing, uh, well, because of sailing, but not because of sailing with the Chenacker, but because I didn't take it in afterwards and it was sticking away and crash. So, the cool thing about this setup, in my point of view, is that I have these two lines and with this I can change the angle of the, of the boom. So, if I have wind like now, coming half wind in, I like to change it to the leeward position. So the whole sail makes less the balloon, but it's getting flatter. And if the wind is coming straight from behind to get out of the wind shadow from the main sail, I move it to the, to the right side. Ah yeah, that's another thing. You could say, well, why even set the main sail? I like to have it up just in case that you have any kind of problems with the Jenaker. You can set course from wind behind and you put the whole thing into wind shadow and then it's easier to work. So more and more questions came in and usually they are regarding the self-steering and the spinnaker pole. 
And the third big question is this little thing here that I'm um, actually sitting on the, the cockpit. Uh, as you can see, it's not the usual cockpit and I'm really, really, really incredibly happy it isn't. Um, the last couple of days had a really, really bad wind and um, yeah, I had a little bit of, of uh, jib out and I was sitting more or less all the time in here watching everything from inside. Sometimes I had to close here, so I was inside this little camp. Also da sehen wir jetzt gerade der Autopilot alles perfekt gemacht. Wir haben gerade die Wellen runtergesaust und das ist natürlich genau nice. Das ist die hoffentlich auch wieder. The galley and my bed, which I spent a long time on it actually. I can do my night shifts here, watch out the windows, prepare food, or just like now, chilling here without constantly being uh, nervous of getting wet. So, well, that adds a lot of, of comfort to this boat. I have 140 liters of water had, now it's down to 100, um, which I store in these blue bags now out to dry and then I fill it in this big jar here and I can pump it out from there it's somehow a bit handier if, if it's really wavy uh, that's my, my wind gen uh, designed actually to be a water generator but it can be used in wind too it doesn't produce much now but it gives me a little bit of confidence at night and uh, that's it what I wanted to show and uh, yeah I'm enjoying this moment of sailing, as I mentioned a little bit before, it wasn't always that joyful. Last few days, with lots of lots of wind, big waves. Maybe I had some footage here, and um, yeah, the wind forecast is also not that great. But I'm enjoying this moment here, and uh, I hope you too. <laughs> see you somewhere someday, out on the ocean, not on videos. I see you out there because. Don't watch too much of these videos, just go. Go, go, go!